coin collectors out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we've got a strange one, a 1965 Canada Mint set with some very strange and weird toning on the half dollar and a couple of the other coins. Um, the other coins are more to toned on the back, but this penny has some toning too. And so this is still in the mint-like set envelope. It's a 1965 which means that the half dollar is 80% silver and it's worth $5.36 or somewhere in that range. I mean, it changes every day, of course, just in silver value alone. So this is an expensive set, just in silver value. So if we take this coin and take a look at it, and of course, you know what we're going to do. The scissors are going to come out and we're going to actually take a look at it. Um, we'll see that it is just a strange bird. Now, a lot of collectors don't really want to have a mint set like this because of the coloring. And we see that if it comes off. This is actually the coloring that, um, or the toning that occurs right in the envelope. Nothing, there hasn't been any heat or any other exposure here. It just reacted. Sometimes the coating of the coin reacts with the environment to get you this strange strange bird kind of toning and you'd say well um, it's probably something that happened to the coin uh, while it was afterwards but if we look at um, this coin here we see uh, the dollar coin we see none of it and we look on the back of the dollar coin and again we see none of that toning um, we don't see it on the quarter we don't really see it on the nickel and we see a little bit of weird toning on the penny. So something in this packaging or something in the coin itself uh, reacted and we got these kind of blackish, bluish lines on there. And it's almost like you see sometimes when you heat metal over a stove, you get this kind of coloring. Well, this, uh, the air in the packaging can sometimes do it to the coin itself. All right, so what is it? Well, it's the Queen Elizabeth II the Arnold Machen portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, the second portrait, as it's called. And we see the crown of uh, the girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara that she's wearing. We see the beaded outer rim. We see that it has a reeded edge. And if we flip it to the back, we see there's a little tiny bit of toning up there. But on the back, not much toning, but a little bit of um, coloring from the plastic that it's encased in. So this is 1965, and this isn't um, me at the bottom. This is also something from the plastic, and you, you can try to rub it off if you want. Um, but generally what we do is we just kind of leave it like it is. In 1965, this coin uh, was made in 1966. So for two years, it was made at 80%. And uh, it is 11.66 grams, 29.72 millimeters in diameter. It's still usable in Canada if you want. But why would you use a 50 cent coin that's worth seven or eight dollars or more um, to buy anything worth 50 cents? You wouldn't. They made 12.6 million of these in 1965. Uh, in, even in just very fine condition, it's worth five and a half. And again, that's because five dollars and 36 cents of it is just a silver value alone. Is it rare? No, it's not rare. Numista rates it as a 12 on a rarity index of 100. Coins in Canada has uh, some information on these. And if you look at the Coins in Canada website, and that's Coins and Canada, you can get a lot of information sometimes on the value. So if you're looking for the value of this coin and you want to sell it or you don't want to um, rest on the Numista value, go to Coins in Canada, find the year. So this is a will be under 65 to 89. And you'll see that in almost uncirculated condition, it's worth $7.30. In um, MS60, it's worth $9. And um, the PL, um, it's worth between $8 and $10. And that is today. Now, you will see, um, because uh, these are uh, proof light coins, they're listed as a PL60 to PL. 67. It's hard to know how they're going to rate this one um, just because of the, the coloring on here. There are some collectors who love that kind of um, 
toning in bluing and whatever they might call it but most collectors don't and that's why I was able to get this set at not much over silver value. Have a great day and uh, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel the DC Coin World International Coin channel.